last gas. This morning, this morning I tried to use a floating stick bait to start my session like I usually do, uh, but I didn't get any hits with the floating stick bait uh, for quite some time, so I decided to change to a sinking stick bait, which you'll see me do in a second. So the sinking stick bait that I decided to use is an Ocean Legacy Keeling 105 fast sinking model. It's basically a stick bait where when you cast it out it sinks to the bottom of the water column and then you can work it back with a number of different retrieves. Fast winding, uh, you can also twitch it, you can also do long sweeps followed by pauses. Uh, here you'll see me let it sink and I generally try to let it sink halfway through the water column before I start working it back and my preferred technique for this stick bait is to do short uh, jerks of the rod tip followed by a couple of pauses or a long pause just to let it sink and, and hover in the water for a bit and then continuing on with my rod jerks of the rod tip just working it very slowly I don't want to work it too fast I'm just working it slowly stick baits are good to to have in your tackle box especially sinking ones because um, sometimes you do get tired of jigging all day and your arms do fatigue from jigging and your shoulder does as well so it's good to have sinking stick baits um, as well as floating stick baits because they're very easy to work and they're very less tiresome to, to work as well when you're lure fishing. As you can see here, I don't get any hits on the stick bait. After maybe 12 casts, generally when I don't get any hits, uh, I then switch lures up. And you'll see me here switching lures to a jig in a second because it is getting quite uh, late in the morning and the, the sun is quite, getting quite high up and so the, a lot of the pelagics find deeper water and a jig you can definitely fish the deeper water much easily compared to a stick bait and you'll see me do this uh, in, in a couple of uh, seconds hey. yeah pretty soon I normally do like 12 to 20 casts of each lure. Here you can see me switch to a jig. The one I was using was a palms slow blat in the wide shape. Uh, and I think it was about a 60 gram jig. Once I cast it out, I just let it sink and here I'm sort of holding the spool and letting line out and just controlling the line uh, as the jig is free uh, dropping down into water so free sinking in the water and I'm letting as much line out as needed and as soon as I see that it's not taking line anymore I'm closing the bail arm and jigging it back up. The action I like to do here with the palm slow black jig is to vertically jerk it up with the rod tip a few times maybe uh, six to twelve times before a, a quick pause just to let it flutter down and sink a little bit and then I'm repeating the process and I may want to do quick jerks or steady jerks that you can see here and I rotate in between these two rhythmic actions to try and entice a bite. Oh, um. oh. 
Uh, feels decent. Um, the poles. Oh no, did it come off? No, oh, it's still on. Come here. Where is it going? There you go. Oh, I think it's a king. I don't know, it feels like one. No, 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 no. I need to tire it out. Oh. Oh. I don't know what it is. I just saw it. Oh, yeah, it's a king. It's a rat. <laughs> oh, gave me a good fight. Yeah, tiny, tiny. Yeah, no, that was on a um, slow black. Need a wash actually. No, nah, it's just needing to calm down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>